so we've laid it up with like five, six different layers of compostable materials. And now we're just putting a few inches of soil on top. Doesn't need much. Using the roots that we don't need to fill in the holes that we don't need. And then when this is like a couple of inches down, that's probably about right, maybe. I'll put a line of seeds in here. Um, and then the seeds will start to root into the soil. And then they will push themselves further down and they'll start going through all the compostable materials. So I've already put this mint in here, in this method. And then I've covered it back with wood chip because bare soil is no friend to the environment. It washes away the light, uh, destroys the funguses and fungi, fungi, and um, bacteria in the soil that we actually need. So once I put the seeds on, I'm going to put another really thin layer of soil on top then another really thin layer of wood chip and then the first bed is done. Hooray! Mycelium for the fungi, which is like the weird rooty thing, should theoretically hold the bed in place. So when the roots start developing on those plants, the roots will hold the bed in place. So hopefully, in the meantime, this will be filled with like mushroom mycelium, and that should hold it all together as well. But we'll probably come back tomorrow, and it'll all be flat, and it'll be a disaster. But you know. Why am I actually digging this one? Oh, so that we can put the wood on the bottom. All right. So any water that comes down the hill will go into that trench and then the wood that's in the trench will soak up the water and then it should be really self-watering for the plants that are in there. That's the theory, anyway. So, like, almost like it's acting like a... A reservoir um, underneath. Yeah. So the... Um, like a tray. Yeah. Like it's it, just catching a bit of extra water to give the wood more time to soak it up. Yeah. What? And the plant roots won't go down that far, so they won't end up, like, waterlogged. Which you don't, generally don't want. Most plants don't like having wet feet. Plants have feet? Well, you call it wet feet in gardening. If a plant likes wet soil, I think grapes, maybe, vines, like wet feet, but they don't like, well, they like the roots being cold or wet. I can't remember, grapes are confusing. <laughs> but there are some plants that prefer to have wet root systems. And there are other plants that if they have wet root systems, they'll rot out. Uh, okay. What's planted in there? Mint. Yep. Pak choy. Cabbage. So the pak choy runs that way and the cabbage runs that way. And then in this one, on this side we've got a white radish. And on that side, we've got bulbing fennel. Once that actually create the bulb so you can cut it up and roast it, rather than just the frondy bits at the top. 
dead to have me. Oh, she's got that bracken root out. Get her in. Right. <coughs> I'm in a state of it. Right, let's take off her drink. She's probably...